Well, it's been six months now, which is uh, kind of surprising, went by very quickly, but uh, really tried to clear my head and uh, figure out what I want to do next. I, uh, I realized I don't think I'm completely ready to go and play golf uh, full time, but I haven't really found something that I can completely sink my teeth into, something that I'm completely passionate about. So one of the biggest crazes going through right now is VR, right? So where do you think it's headed? But I still think it has a little bit of a way to go. I do think it's going to be evolutionary for gaming. I don't know if it's going to completely change the way people play games, but I do think it will add to that immersive nature and it will have a major impact on gaming. The toys to life thing is becoming huge. Is it a flash in the pan? It's, it's something that's always been appealing to me. One of the companies I had the opportunity to meet with uh, recently was Anki Drive. The cool thing about Anki Drive is you're still using you know, your Android or your smartphone or your tablet, but then you're physically looking at cars racing around the track. What's the best game you ever played? I used to love a game called Choplifter on, on the Game Boy, and I played the heck out of that. And I tended to travel all the time, and I still do, so I'm not really a living room type gamer. I'm kind of an on-the-fly gamer. And I'd be lying to say I'm not addicted to, uh, to Supercell right now with Clash of Clans. And, you know, when my uh, shield is up and it's not a good time to go into battle, uh, I go over to Heyday and I work on my crops over there. And then maybe I'll play a couple of levels of Candy Crush. And, I never thought I'd be saying that even a year ago. What do you think of how Microsoft's doing right now? I think they've got a little bit of uh, identity crisis going on right now, although I think they've kind of come out of it, but I don't know that the average gamer is fully aware of that. You still hear a lot of people talking about their initial presentation for the Xbox One and a lot of the confusion over digital rights management and the ability to use used games and to have it on. And of course, they made ultimately, I think, the right decision in all those areas, but because it was a departure from what they initially said, that, that baggage tends to stick with you. What about Sony? How do you feel about how they're doing? Well, I mean, I think the PlayStation 4 is a runaway success, and I'm very proud of what we're able to accomplish there. That was an amazing thing. I think one of the big challenges for Sony and for the PlayStation 4 uh, is that it's a very expensive industry. You've got some real fierce competition, so I, I think keeping their eye on the prize and being focused on the crown jewel is going to be the, uh, the smartest move for them. And I think anything that takes their focus off of that could ultimately uh, leave the door open for competition.